when it comes to voiceover, you gotta think big. And I'm probably probably not talking big in the way that you think that I'm talking about big, although that's not bad either. But we're going to talk about numbers again today. Yesterday, we talked about voiceover numbers, but we talked about numbers as in analytics. What's your batting average when it comes to audition to win ratio? Tracking all those numbers so you can figure out what you're making essentially per hour per client so you can make good business decisions. Because as a voiceover talent, self-employed, you are a business person. But today, I want to talk to you about there are there are three primary reasons why people don't succeed in voiceover. Number one, they just don't do anything. They think about it. They plan for it. They investigate. They research equipment. They do all these things. A lot of a lot of dust being stirred up, but no real activity in moving forward. Number two, they're doing the wrong things, spending their time focusing on the wrong stuff. The third, and this is what I want to talk about today, they're not doing enough of the right stuff. And just when I think that I've I've beat this dead horse far too long, and that surely I've said it too many times. It seems that every day this topic comes up and I realize that that it's not penetrating the consciousness of the voiceover community. So that's why I want to talk about thinking big in voiceover this morning. And what I'm talking about is taking the, the right activities, but taking them to a whole new level. Let me share with you a story. I heard this years ago. I must have been 19 or 20 years old. And for some reason, it, it stuck in my mind. And it was a story about a successful insurance salesman. And there was an office of insurance uh, salespeople. And within this group, consistently, the person who performed the best was generally recognized as the least talented. Because, yeah, when it comes to sales, you know, some people are better at it than others. But for some reason, this guy that would, would, would outsell everybody consistently month by month, nobody could figure it out because the guy was unremarkable. He was extremely ordinary. He wasn't a, a very gifted salesperson as far as talents go when it comes to sales, but yet he consistently outsold everybody in that office. Well, with some investigation, you want to know what they found out? This is so simple, but it is so profound and it applies completely to your voiceover business. He made more sales calls than anybody else. You see, you don't have to be the most gifted, the most talented. You can have uh, a less than uh, remarkable uh, average when it comes to auditions, to wins, to you know, direct emails or marketing phone calls to to clients, uh, you know, clients and jobs made from those calls. But if you outperform everybody in terms of doing more than everybody else, you'll ultimately have more work because you've done it more times. I would much rather have to audition just, let's just say, this is just, for example, say, you know, plug in whatever numbers you want. I would rather, you know, if there, if there's, if there's a guy who maybe he gets one out of every 50 auditions, he wins. And I win one out of every 100 or one out of every 200 or 300. But this guy only does 50 auditions a week. No problem. I would rather do 500 auditions a week and get more work and make more money. That's the way I approach my voiceover business. Now, of course, it begins with knowing the right activities, the right marketing channels, the right messaging, all of those kind of things. But once you know what those things are, you need to do more than you think you need to do. Let me give you another example. Uh, I think it was last night in our in the performance class. And by the way, for those of you who were there, thanks for being there. We had a, we had a blast last, last night. It was such a great class. And and I appreciated those of you who participated and read for us and learned so much. And I know you guys will be booking more work as a result of that. So thank you for being there last night. But somebody was made made reference to the fact uh, that they were still trying to get audiobook work and they were auditioning 10 times a week. Well, I have often said this to my students. If my goal was to go out and book uh, work with audio, an audiobook to record. Like, let's say that's my objective this week. I want, I want to record an audiobook. Well, I'm going to do at least 10 auditions a day because I figure that with 50 auditions over the course of the week, I can probably book at least one, maybe a couple of audiobooks. But maybe if I'm newer and maybe my skills aren't as developed, maybe I need to do a hundred auditions that week. And you're probably, you may be thinking, are you serious? A hundred, 
Yeah, absolutely. How do you think I survived in voiceover early on? Do you think it was purely because I had this natural gift and ability and understanding of voiceover? No, it's because I came at it, it I totally attacked it in numbers. I outworked everybody else because I did everything in huge numbers. I did more auditions. I made more telephone calls. I sent out more emails than probably anybody else in voiceover. I would bet on it, especially earlier on as I was building and getting my clients. That's how you overcome any deficit that you may have in talent, ability, whatever. You throw more at it. And the more you throw at it, the more work you're going to get. And the more work you get, the better you're going to get. The better your numbers, the better your batting percentage, your analytics will start to show up you know, as, as being better, all as a result of you doing more work. But you have to think big. Do everything in volume. Because I've see, I continue to see this every day. People kind of messing around with it. Yeah, I'll send out a few emails. You know, I sent out five emails last week. I did 10 auditions last week. Man, you're not even scratching the surface yet. You've got to think way bigger than that. So that's my encouragement. That's my directive for you this morning. Think big, do big, and you'll succeed in voiceover.